Hey, what's up everyone? This is King Crypto. It's time for a Litecoin giveaway. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Today we're going to be talking about Binance and the tutorial for it. So our winner is Crypto Queen. A shame they are blocking your monetization. I'll be on the lookout for Telegram and Vezd. Yeah, YouTube has still not monetized me. I have no copyright strikes against me. I have nothing wrong with my channel. They just won't do it because they're, I guess, very slow. And I don't want to insult them. But it is very frustrating. So, whatever though. Back to the video. Today is going to be about Binance tutorials and pretty much everything to do with how to set up an account and trade efficiently. So, enjoy. All right, everyone. So, this is Binance. Um, they have more than 5 million users and they were only created like a month or so ago. So, this has blown up. And I'll tell you a portion of the reason is because of their referral program. If you thought BitConnect was lucrative, <laughs> this beats it out of the park. So, somebody made 76 Bitcoin from the time this was created till now just by referring people, inviting your friends. And you get paid 20% commission of, I guess, their links. I don't know how it exactly works, but that is some aggressive uh, multi-level marketing right here. And, you know, it's not really a, a bad thing either because these people... This is a legitimate exchange and it works really well. So I think the people that are doing this good of a job promoting actually kind of deserve it. But I digress. You can tell it's actually really big just by the fact that 240,000 users were at it in just one day. Not even one day, one hour. I'm sorry. It's just so hard to believe, but it's it's tried and true, guys. This is... a uh, this is a very popular exchange, and I think it deserves all this credit. There's a reason for it, you know. So, okay, I'm going to start. Oh, can't join. Okay, sorry about that, guys. It, sh it does work sometimes with registrations. This is going to happen every so often, so you have to be ready for this if, the if it does happen. But it'll come back online. They just want to make sure that everything runs efficiently. So... If you do have an account, well, or when the time comes where you can join, I'm going to just log in right now and show you how it works. Okay. Now this is called the Google Authenticator, and this is just a way to protect yourself from hackers. It's a code that you can download on Google, and it's like a barcode online, and it changes every 30 seconds. Six-digit code every 30 seconds. So let me just type that in real fast. And here I am. This is my account. Once you create an account, you have a withdrawal limit of about two Bitcoins, which is a lot of money to me. But if you want to have a, a withdrawal limit of 100 BTC, if you're like a rich dude and you have that kind of capital, then you, you're supposed to submit verification documents, which pretty much just means you have to verify who you are, be it a passport, a driver's license, or national ID card so you have to be verified but the reward of doing that is you're you can also tell the company is more transparent they're obviously professional and this also is like Coinbase or GDAX they do the same protocol so let me show you how to buy or how to deposit now all right so there's two ways to get to your deposits click on your profile and click estimated value that's the first way to get to deposits and withdrawals. Uh, the second way is to go to funds. Right, right there. Click deposits and withdrawals. It'll take you to the same spot. So here is all their coins that they have listed. Um, so I'm going to put in Litecoin. Because uh, Litecoin is just a much, much more efficient way to send your coins. If you send it in Bitcoin, you have... <clears throat> It's, it's rare, but it can get lost in the network. There's many unconfirmed transactions. There's a website that will show you there's actually 200,000 unconfirmed transactions at the moment. So I hate using Bitcoin to send. So if I were you, I would, I would buy your coins in Litecoin when you're about to send to and from exchanges. So that's what I'm going to do right this moment. I'm going to click that withdraw button. Just kidding. The deposit button because I'm depositing Litecoin from one exchange to this one. And that's the address for this Litecoin address. So let me do that one more time. 
what I'm going to do is you're going to look up the coin that you want. So that's my coin. Now I want to receive money, so I'm going to deposit this into my Litecoin address. This is the Litecoin address for Binance, so I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to send it from GDEX. So this is some play money of mine using for trading. I'm going to buy Litecoin this way. Now what I'm going to do is set a limit. Now this is to avoid fees. Really nifty way to do it. Um, when I buy it on the order book, there's no fees associated with it because it's um it's not part of when you buy a market order, it costs a fee, but you get it instantly. And when you do a limit order, there is a chance that your order won't be processed due to how many people are buying it. But that's your call. It really depends on the environment of how the market's doing. If you see a really good opportunity, sometimes it's better to buy, buy it immediately. But I like to buy the limit because those fees add up. As you can see, my older fills, I was buying like a dumbass just co constantly buying in the market and I was losing a dollar here a dollar there and at that point you've already lost I'm already like 90% of traders who fail because I'm failing at my trading losing profits so I'm gonna let that confirm all right and there we have it I have Litecoin now so I'm going to withdraw this Litecoin from GDEX and I'm gonna put it into the Litecoin address from Binance and then I'm going to type in how much Litecoin I have currently. And I'm going to, I just double checked real quickly just to make sure that it hasn't changed because it does change on GDAX. Okay, it's the same. Got to do my authenticator code. All right, and that's that, guys. Now I'll come right back when the Litecoin address is sent, and we'll get started on showing you how to trade efficiently and just understanding the trade book. All right, so Binance is obviously killing the game for a good reason, because I got my Litecoin in less than five minutes. If I had sent this to Bittrex or Cryptopia, God forbid, this would have taken much longer, and it would have been a lot more pain in the ass. So right now, I'm very happy about that. So I'm going to give that a five star rating, just the fact that I got my payment that quickly. So then we're gonna go to uh, the exchange, and from there I'm going to buy Bitcoin because that is the default token or the default crypto asset that we have to use to trade with all sorts of these uh, currencies on this exchange. All right, everyone, so on the right hand side, you can see a little search sign. I'm gonna type in Litecoin there, and you're gonna see a pairing with Litecoin to Bitcoin. Okay, so this is another advantage of Binance. Their fees are only 0.05%. It's very close to GDAX fees. It's very cheap to buy here. So I just thought I'd, I'd bring that up. And they have different allocations. So you can put 25% of your allocation, 50%, 75%, or 100%. And it makes it a lot easier when you think about numbers. Uh, with crypto, the numbers aren't like, normal like we're used to you know like with a dollar so I, I like that a lot that's a nice feature of Binance so anyway I'm going to sell this Litecoin now and I'm gonna put all of my money into it and there we go and it was that quick now on ordinary markets it takes a lot longer for you to get your Bitcoin once you make a sell but here it's already done now there's some Litecoin left over and that's just the way it is that that's how their uh, system is set up but all right so let me get into now how stop limits work and all that all right guys I'm gonna make this uh, try to make this as simple as possible because there's a lot going on but it's I promise you it's not that hard so I already purchased this uh, Bitcoin 
And I actually have more Litecoin because I'm going to trade later on, but that's not the point. So what we're looking at here is uh, a limit. Now, that's what I just did when I sold Litecoin. I bought it at a limit price. And that essentially means you're buying at a specific value of where the market's at or where the market will be. So if I had sold my, if I sold Litecoin for Bitcoin up here, I would have got more Bitcoin as a result because the price is higher. Conversely, if I sold here, I would have got less. But this is the price right now. And if I buy Litecoin, I can buy it here and I will buy it at the closest value of the market, but I might miss out on a, a good deal when the market might go down closer to here. So it really is up to how quickly you want to get in the market. If you're a day trader, you probably want to get in quicker. So you buy, I guess, around here. So that's that's essentially that. Fortunately, it's a lot easier to be able to buy in on this site than most. Now, another thing is a stop limit. And a stop limit is essential if you want to be a good trader. It allows you to stop the price. So let's say I owned Litecoin and Litecoin starts crashing like really bad. I can set a stop limit so that if it goes down any further, uh, it'll convert to Bitcoin. So let's say, you know, if I was sleeping or I was working and I didn't have time to check the charts and it happened, I wouldn't have to worry about it because the stop limit uh, made, made it so that I converted Litecoin to Bitcoin at a certain price and therefore I don't lose all my money. So that's how that goes. There is an advanced section here, and honestly, the advanced is not really that much different, except they give you indicators. And guys, I'm telling you, if you're a trader, you need to know about these indicators. This is not like something you can just pass by. This is something you really should understand. RSI is very important. I highly suggest that when you trade, like you should definitely use tradingview.com when you're using Binance. For the love of God, please do that. Um, so what I did here is, as you can see, I clicked in. You can type it in yourself, Litecoin to Bitcoin, and it will show you there's a whole bunch of different exchanges. Now, you want to click the exchange where uh, the, the money's going. So I'm on Binance now. There we go. So here, you can use the indicators, and it's a lot easier to work on this than it is on a... Uh, Finance. I'm not even saying it's hard, but they don't really let you customize how you like to trade. So this is my preferential trading style with the moving averages. You need to understand what these indicators do. Like RSI, for example, you should understand it. What it means when these RSI, where what it means when they are where they are. So like you see here, how it's high up. RSI just means how oversold or overbought is a currency or a stock. So the RSI here, we can see it was very overbought. And uh, it had to be uh, sold down, you know. And then once it went oversold, then it went back up. These little tips help you as a trader to actually make a good judgment call. Definitely can make a good judgment call when you get up here, you know. These are all tools that will help you. And it's better to be constantly teaching yourself a new trading style than to live in ignorance or you'll just lose all your money and it's your fault to be honest the macd is exactly pretty much exactly like moving uh exponential moving averages uh it just shows a different kind of point you see how it's 12 and 26 minus 13 and 34 so it really is your preference you have to trade I would say Binance is a great starting point. I, it's my favorite. <clears throat> I would have to give it almost five stars because nothing's perfect, but this is pretty close to it. And uh, yeah, so good luck with everything, guys. Seriously, I hope the best in your trading in the future. And I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please comment below. Give me some quality feedback. If you're very active, I will honor that and I will make sure you get your Litecoin but I have to notice what you're saying. So keep that in mind when you're making a comment. So thank you very much, everybody. This is King Crypto. Let's get cryptical. Ow! King Crypto! Yo, yo, hey, man. Here we go, here we go. I got nothing else to say. 
I want to welcome you to the best subscription currency channel in the world. The woman taker. Hey, King Crypt.